it's Bessie LB and I am back again with another review from Trader Joe's. Today we're going to be discussing this broccoli and cauliflower gratin, which is basically a casserole, right? It's a broccoli and cauliflower casserole. So not that much to really tell you about this. It's a pretty simple dish, but I have seen how popular this is at Trader Joe's. They have this one, and then they have, I believe, a potato one, and maybe a third. So I got this because I'm trying to do the whole low-carb thing. And I was like, you know what? This look real cheesy and real delightful on the bag here, honey. So I was like, let me try this out. I love me some cauliflower and broccoli. So basically, it comes in this little baggie. It comes in a small little serving. So I say you probably get like two three servings if well it says four servings per container you know how that goes two three servings i say if you're gonna like fix it with something else um it is a broccoli casserole with a creamy sauce mozzarella and grana padano cheeses it is something that you put in the microwave or you put in the oven i don't own a microwave I'd rather my things go into the oven, toast the oven, on top of the stove when I heat it and when I cook it. So I did it in the oven for 125 minutes. Then you continue to bake it for another 5-10 minutes after you kind of like stir it together. After it will look kind of like this photo that's down at the bottom. Just like a little like, you know, cheesy cauliflower and broccoli. I think it was pretty tasty. It's pretty simple. It's just a little side, but I saw how popular this was. So I was like, I got to try this out. It is uh, dairy. There is dairy. Definitely milk, cheese, uh, butter, and all that goodness. A lot of cheese is dairy. So this isn't dairy free. Um, but it it's okay. I think, I think it's okay, right? It... Again, Trader Joe's is just not a place that really packs a punch when it comes to a lot of spices. They sell a lot of spices, but I think that's their intent to tell you, take what we buy, we're catering it to everybody, and just add your own spice. I'm not a salt-heavy type of person, but I did have to top it with a little Himalayan salt and the onion salt that's my favorite too love me some onion salt honey and then just a little like a little other little spice to kind of like punch it up i think it's a nice little side um it doesn't need any more cheese normally with casseroles that come pre-made from stores i feel like i gotta kind of like punch it up myself but it it didn't need any more cheese it just needed a little more flavor it was a little plain but once i add a little bestie touch to it, it it tastes pretty good so all in all i think it's a nice little side especially if you're in like a quick rush and you just want to get a rotisserie chicken that's already made some veggies on the side and whatever else you want to add it's a quick little nice little touch for a nice little dinner with your family okay and i think the kids will like it because it got cheese on it so all in all i would say buy it i probably would buy it again i just think that i would have to you know continue to punch it up add a little something i think it might be a little nice if you add a little uh panko crumbs or like breadcrumbs on top i think that'll give it a nice little touch as well so you guys gotta try it out i think it's tasty i think it's worth your money it's worth the purchase